Taurus, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from your angels. Now... What's happening is that you are gaining experience to have a substantial foundation so that as you rise up in this game of life, you're, you're basically your house isn't going to fall, you know? So what that essentially means is that you're on your way to receiving financial gain, stability in your life. Um, and really just that increase in stability in all of the forms that that comes in, right? So we want to remind you of this one very important thing, right? The power of intention. So when you intend to do something in your life or be someone or go somewhere, you will naturally be guided into that intention. Now, depending on where you are in life and what lessons you're at being asked to learn, that's going to be what indicates how this journey looks for you. So every journey looks a little bit differently, right? So you may have to go through some uh, healing, the, needing the approval of others or meeting the approval of others. That might be part of your journey of healing through that energy. Maybe part of your journey is about uh, maintaining focus and not getting distracted by the shiny things and the entertainment here on planet Earth, you know, getting lost in the matrix. But maybe it's about just keeping focus on your journey and what you're looking to create for for yourself, right? Not getting distracted by, should I stay? Should I go? Is this right? Is this not right? It's, it, you know what I mean? So it's really just dependent on what your plan is and what spirit have got planned for you and what your higher self has got planned for you. So watch where your words are taking you because your words are very powerful. And remember, we just want to remind you that you are a co-creator, meaning that again, all you have to do is create the intention of what you want your life to look like and then keep your, keep your uh, thoughts directed into the best case scenario outcome or the solution based perspective and spirit will be able to speak to you spirit will be able to guide you spirit guides us and we are nudged and and guided by the magic that we feel by the good feeling thoughts and actions right that's how we're being guided those good feeling states right but if we are unable to receive those being paying attention to the good feelings that we feel from certain things it just indicates that we need to go and spend some more time with ourselves. It just indicates that we need to be more uh, present with ourselves, uh, pr uh, uh, prioritizing solitude, prioritizing, um, you know, uh, listening and interpreting and recognizing and observing where our thoughts are taking us, you see, because everything is thought based here, right? So if you're not feeling connected to who you really are, you're most likely going to be caught up in the matrix. So you're going to try to be controlling things, right? You're not going to be able to see the bigger picture because when we are not connected to our spirits, we're unable to see past the experience of what we've already been, what we've already been through. So it's very limiting and that causes a lot of inner turmoil that causes a lot of inner uh, pain. And it just doesn't need to be that way. Meaning that if you haven't had your soulmate show up, or if you haven't become rich or recognize what money, having lots of money feels like, you may feel like it's not possible, right? Your mind may say, well, I've never had it. You know, you need to work really hard for money. You know, I, I, I've been try trying to manifest. Well, beautiful soul, you're not a manifester. You're, a trans you're translating vibration, okay? You're not a manifester. You're translating vibration. Whatever you want, it's already done. It's already done. Just that spark of desire is enough to get the ball rolling. And universe is like, on it, that's what it is to be a co-creator. So at this point, all you have to do is get out of your own way, right? So what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to make sure that the things you do in your life, you like doing. So that way that your energy stays nice and open, right? So maybe, you know, you know what's, what are your hobbies? What do you enjoy doing? Remember, you don't have to turn your hobbies into pro, uh, uh, profit. You just got to understand that when you focus your energy into things that you love, your energy is very open. You're in that receival mode. So you'll receive clarity on things. And right now we need you to be feel more open so you can receive clarity. So, uh, you know, your dreams speak to you. So whatever resonates in your dreams, that's a good way to, uh, to, to 
understand where the universe is, is guiding you. And when you pay attention to your dreams, you start to activate your third eye and you start to become more connected to your divine feminine as well. So again, we're unable to see what's possible for us if we're not connected to our true goddess energy. So we need you to start prioritizing that connection of tuning into your inner knowing your inner guidance. If you're not used to listening to that voice, we would recommend reaching out, writing a letter, writing a note to yourself, your intuition, and just kind of sparking up that conversation. And you could even um, ask them to send, ask your higher self to like um, send you a certain like signal or something. Like, you know, I, I asked my higher self, be like, can you, if I think of something and it's right, can you like show me a green check mark in my mind or something like that? You know, something where the, you know, it's, it's, it's a sure bet, right? But remember, we always, uh, you got to always pay attention uh, more so to, and observe, be the witnesser of how you're thinking about something. Cause it's, it's always your thoughts that are going to indicate how much you're allowing in, right? Because your thoughts indicate how you feel, right? So we would just want you to make sure that your words are being directed in the focus of things going the way that you want them to. So we want you to change your words on um, the frequency of money and the frequency of love, which is the same thing. So write this down in the comments below. Money is a positive force in my life. Money is a positive force in my life. Write this down. Start to transmute your thoughts around this, right? Money is a positive force in my life because money is a really fun thing. It's fun to play when we got lots of money. We can play with lots of kind of thing, different fun things here on planet Earth, right? Money doesn't necessarily bring you purpose, right? Or happiness, but it's an indication of how open you are to receiving. And that makes us feel on purpose is that openness, right? When we we have that feeling of of satisfaction that you know we are we're 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 taken care of it it's just an energy thing you know it's just an energy thing and it's just about learning how to read our energy and the first step is connecting stronger to your intuition right so what we see here is that again there is a, a, an opportunity that's present in your life that will lead you to greater forms of abundance right but again we we need you Taurus to really pay attention right see it as you want it to be not as it is see it as you want it to be not as it is this illusion that's going on in your mind that, you know, you haven't seen it before, so it's going to be difficult to get. That's, again, all just nonsense. That's just your uh, limiting beliefs. And that's indicating that your frequency is low. It's indicating that you've got to raise your frequency. Remember, alignment first, action second. So get yourself into an alignment. Get yourself into a high vibrational place, um, probably from spending more time focusing on some form of art. Again, our, all of our arts are different. So, like, my way that I create art, and really art is, like, it's just where you get lost in the energy. So you're not thinking about anything. There's nothing on your mind. You're just kind of releasing energy. You're feeling really good. You're feeling really connected with yourself. You're kind of with yourself. So mine will always be movement, uh, physical activity, um, or, you know, being out in nature or, um, sound healing, frequency healing. You know, these kinds of tools are really helpful for us, uh, to be able to clear some energy away, clear emotion away, and be able to focus our attention into the priority or into where we're being nudged. So if you're having a hard time focusing right now, okay, then you, you, you're better off prioritizing clearing away some emotional buildup, right, uh, through physical activity, meditation, and so forth. Um, and then you're able, once you kind of clear that away and you cease thought and you're, you're just kind of with yourself, that's when you're going to be able to be nudged. Um, but we... We're, we're seeing here that you're having a hard time focusing because, again, your frequency is too low with that Knight of Cups in reverse. So your heart's closed off. It's because... Uh, you have a lot of emotion flowing through your body and that's just stored emotion from traumas from the past. Um, and, uh, and, and it's distracting, it's distracting you, beautiful soul. It is distracting you. That emotion that's flowing through your body is distracting you. So we just want to remind you, right? Whenever you are, um, making any decision in this game of life, it's got to always correlate with the purpose or with you want, with where you want your life to go. But if at any point you make a decision to eat something, drink something, use something and it's from an emotional place. It just means that you are, you are feeling disturbed, right? Because you've got a lot of emotions running through the body. These emotions are overwhelming because it's all traumas from the past stored in there, creeping up to the surface to be healed. But we're witnessing these, these traumas and we're like, heck no, I'm out of here. And then we are emotional. So we want to leave our body. And then we make that emotional choice. And then we keep ourselves back. We bring ourselves back to where we started, right? So at the end of the day, the more you connect to frequencies in your life, energies that feel really resonant and good for you. So that higher power, that is when you're going to start to transcend your life, right? So it's really just about focusing on connecting to your higher self, connecting to uh, God, source, creator, um, angels, all right, whoever you connect with, spending more time doing that because that's going to lead you towards everything you ever wanted. Uh, love, marriage, family, uh, abundance, uh, prosperity, all things, right? So
Your angel message for you today is go for it, beautiful soul. So your angels are saying to you now, your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone else involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. So again, whatever you have been intending for your life, whatever your intention is, whatever your biggest, truest, deepest desire is, that is coming when you step out of your own way. In order to step out of our own way, we have to recognize we're being guided by universal forces. Connect to those universal forces and allow them to sort of part the clouds, part the water for you so you can walk through your life with ease. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.